Well, good evening, folks. So this is our first camping trip for the year. We've had this camper since 2017. And we've uh, every year, there's always something that's just not quite right when it comes out of storage. So there's a few things you have to do. This is a 2106DS Winnebago. This time, the refrigerator wouldn't start. The auto light that you see there, the amber light, was not on. I knew something was wrong. I let it run uh, a night and the refrigerator didn't start cooling down. So I knew something was amiss. So before you call your um, you know, RV service center, uh, there's a few things that you can check. Assuming you've already checked to make sure you have power, shore power, or generated power, you can go to the fuse box and make sure that none of these fuses are blown. Check the breakers as, as well in this same box. That's the first place I would always start. Next, if there's nothing awry there, then outside there's a cover. Right behind this cover, you're gonna be looking at the back of the refrigerator. You're gonna see a plug-in, a 110 plug-in, where the refrigerator plugs into. You're gonna see a fuse box. Uh, and pop that fuse box uh, cover off there. There is a fuse inside that you need to check. Make sure that fuse is not blown. In this case, in my case, it was not. So you put that box back on. Then uh, if right behind the schematic diagram there in that compartment, you're gonna find a little switch in here, a little reset switch. It's hard to find, hard to see. And unless you read the manual in, in detail or watch another video, this is something that is not known about. But if you'll press that little reset button, in my case, I heard a click as soon as I pressed that reset button. And I knew that, okay, that's a good sign. So after I hit that reset button, I went back inside to check the status of my refrigerator and the amber light was now on. So that was good news. Now, uh, these do take a while to cool down, so it's a, it takes a little while before you really know whether or not you're getting refrigeration. But the freezer in these Dometic type freezer refrigerator combos will start cooling first, and then you'll feel it in the fins in the refrigerator, uh, and, and it'll start cooling down. Sometimes it takes 24 to 48 hours before those cool down. So if you have a pneumatic refrigerator and a camper that's not working, maybe this tech tip will help you. So don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, or dissent. You've been watching the Townhouse Garage channel. Good day.